They found this lineup when Armando Bacot was hurt in the North Carolina game. Virginia went small. Tony Bennett liked what he sees with this starting lineup. Not a surprise. The seven foot one. <laughs> Played at 90 seconds, Boston College has yet to shoot. There's their first shot, and it's up and good. Score the goal, Makai Ashton Lankford. They assist on 67% of their made field goals, which is unreal. Somewhere, John Crotty beaming. Yes, sir, down in Miami. But up and good, Armand Franklin, his first bucket. Tied at two. Two and a half minutes into our game. Skip pass. Beekman rattles a throw. Zachary. Post. Bumped. Spins. Hits. Oh, that's nice. Gardner. The turnaround. Pretty move. They've really done a nice job of finding some mismatches inside. And Gardner, they, they need him, Eric, to score and get back. He's been under double figures four of his last six. Oh my goodness, post, two more. He has shot the ball four, six times. Four free throws, two shots in the field. He's made them all. Come on. Oh my goodness, quick post. Everything he throws up goes through. Looking like some old school Ralph Sampson back here in Charlottesville. And we're tied at 13. Madsen over to Post. Oh my goodness! Quentin Post! Have an afternoon, big man! He's allowed to shoot wherever he wants. And the steal poked away by Gardner. One man to beat. And he beats him. That's what you have to be careful with. And, uh, Virginia's so good. And... Alik Bay steps inside the line and swishes the 19-footer. Cavaliers down three. Well off the mark by Beekman, but it stays with Virginia cashing in as Gardner. Got hurt in the Louisville game. L. Ellis with an inadvertent elbow. Uh, doesn't seem to have affected his vision so far. And with another timeout coming quickly, Eric, it's a good time to buy him some minutes on the bench in the first half. Clark remains in the game to run the point. Casey McNeely. Caden Shedrick in as well. McNeely, good strong drive for the freshman. Madsen made a bomb a moment ago. McLaughlin, extra pass, bigger step denied! McNeely! Woohoo! Ryan Dunn! McNeely gets it over to Beekman. In the corner, this is Franklin! That's a three ball! Franklin. It's, it's been a short body of work, but uh, so far, Shedrick has had the best success. Done! Dunk number two! On the block, this is John Lankford. That's a tough chance. And it goes. Tamar Lankford earned every bit of that. Get to the free throw line where he's automatic. Post first man down on the floor. It's Boston College. Bickerstaff. Blocked from behind by Dunn. That was clean. Skywalker. Oh, my. If you're, if you're Tony Bennett, too many offensive rebounds and second chances for BC. Post. Points 15 and 16. Remember, he got off to that great start. Virginia starting lineup back on the floor now. Vanderplot. Bumping against the lead bay. No whistle. We play on. Score the goal. Rebounded by the smallest man on the floor. Gardner. All right. How about Kihei Clark? You talking about 5'10. No points. Yeah, we talked about other things. Three rebounds, four assists for him, but uh, they need him to get some points in the half. Step in. Franklin rings the bell. Able to get through a thicket of Cavalier defenders for his first field goal. They got a five. They got to the free throw line off that last drive. They've been working inside. Dumped down to post. Draws a crowd. Alibe with a 
chin up. Gardner faces up on post and hits it. Well, we talked about it, and then uh, look at Clark just immediately going to defense. Big man, score the goal, and a foul! Ashton Lankford. Ooh, how'd that pass get through? Score the goal, Quinton Post! Virginia, Cavalier team has won five consecutive. Boston College, they've won two straight. Both their wins have been by double digits. How about Mr. Gardner? DC in trouble right now, down 15. Ashton Lankford muscles it through. That's a big shot for him. Averages 10.6 points per game. He's only attempted two shots today. On cue, there's his third shot in this first make. Modest 5-0 run for BC. Clark does it by himself. He really wanted to try to take a lead bay that time. Clark had too much time. Again, an offensive rebound. Had a good look. He had a, you know, the, on the double team inside, he had a clean look. Vickerstaff, how did Virginia lose track of him? You, you take him out, and Ryan Dunn comes in, <laughs> who was a highlight reel in the first half. A couple of dunks. Score the goal with a foul. Makai Ashton Lankford. And there's your turnover. Dunn takes it away from McLaughlin. McNeil. All-American defensive tackle at Clemson back in the day. Uh-oh, a breach defensively allows Franklin to get to the rim. Shedrick. Franklin. Three ball. Very tough to press this team. They've got great ball handlers out there. Dunn. He showed me something. Wow. Just a freshman. And he shot from that spot a moment ago. Gets his own miss. Pena close out, but he didn't block him out. Beekman with the left hand. Pretty bold. Nothing easy. Ashton Lankford. Tough reverse layup. Dunn. Franklin. McNeely. Wonderful play on the offensive end for Virginia. They haven't really looked at the basket. We're halfway through the shot clock. Franklin, no. Shedrick, yes! Seventh ranked team in the country. Well, Clark going down in the low block. Gardner, a mid ranger. I'm making the play. That hit the backboard and hit the net, and he still caught it somehow. And it results in a three. McNeely! McNeely's best story as of late. Long two. Man, where are you up? You want to put him? That guy can play some offense. Three ball! Franklin! Post, great catch. Score the goal. Post still in there. That's a seven-foot human being making that move. That's impressive. Numbers, you played close to a thousand NBA games. 84.2 is what you shot as a professional at the free throw line. So congratulations to the Virginia Cavaliers. They're going to improve to 16 and 3 on the season. They're going to go to 8 and 2 in conference play. The seventh-ranked Virginia Cavaliers.